All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, and welcome to this November 2017 monthly update video, part two. So yeah, I got a lot of stuff to cover that's been happening to me for the past uh, couple weeks since the last update video. Got a nice new little location for my uh, computer and stuff, so I figured I'd use that in the background, even though you can barely see it, but eh, it is what it is, right? So let's get into uh, the usual monthly update video stuff. So if this is your first time seeing these things on my monthly update videos. I go over my personal life stuff as well as my YouTube stuff. So let's get into the YouTube stuff first. So at the time it's recording, I finally finished uh, moving all of my videos from my other channels over to my main channel, youtube.com slash theandysan, where you should be watching this video at, right? So, um, and the main reason for that is that is because I wanted to make the Andysan my hub channel, so it basically hosts all of my content, which includes my Navy-related content, my video editing content, as well as my own personal life content, vlogs and updates and such. So. That way, I have my satellite channels, or my secondary channels, um, be content specific. So if you're just into the Navy stuff, you have a channel for that, and if you're into the editing stuff, well, shit out of luck there. <laughs> Until very recently, I've had my own editing channel called Andy Edit, but for some reason or another, YouTube algorithms and whatever's going on with YouTube, uh, they decided to shut my channel down for some reason. I sent them an email asking, hey, why did you guys shut down my channel? I didn't put anything questionable up there. It used to be my Let's Play channel, but I had since made those videos unlisted and had converted it over to my Adobe editing channel. So I put up all my uh, Premiere Pro tutorials and was planning on just basically making that my editing channel they decided to just pull the plug on the whole thing earlier this month. I sent them an email just basically asking like why they just pulled the plug. It's not like one of my videos got copyright struck or anything like that or showed any kind of questionable content. They just decided to pull the plug on the whole darn thing. I decided to just move all of my um, Andy Edit stuff that was on that channel that wasn't on my current channel. From now on, you'll just be seeing Andy Edit stuff on this channel. So, sorry guys, <laughs> kinda is what it is. Uh, YouTube and such so anyway we move on so I'm also in addition to making my own videos I'm also the main video editor for Tikio Sam my good old buddy out in the J-Pants and uh, We've been just uh, killing and grilling it on uh, video editing and such put out a lot of uh, Tikio rants a couple really good Tikio react videos and Just a couple like Tikio vlogs and stuff like that. And we've also made the debut of a new uh, series that Sam is doing called Tikio Talks, where he sits down and does a big interview with a special guest that happens to roll in Japan. And for the debut episode, we got Jayo Nation. He rolled into Japan recently and uh, had a nice sit down talk at a traditional Japanese restaurant known as TGI Fridays. <laughs> there is some more stuff brewing on the horizon that I think is very interesting, although. Sadly, I am not at liberty to discuss it at this moment because it's all very prelim stuff and I don't want to jinx it, so uh, just know that there's a lot of big stuff on the horizon. But in any event, guys, uh, moving on from youtube stuff to video editing stuff to more just like a personal life sort of thing. Despite all the success I've been seeing with editing Tikio Sam's videos and with my own channel, which at the time it's recording is just five subscribers away from reaching 600. So we're on the road to 1K once again. Reclaim the throne, baby. So, but in addition to all that, uh, personal life wise, as you guys know, uh, things really haven't been going all that smoothly for me as of the uh, past couple months or so. Um, I've had, I had a really bad um, anxiety, mental breakdown, I don't know what you'd classify it as. And uh, I was also really sick with a skin infection um, a couple weeks ago, so I was on antibiotics. And for some reason that kind of fucks with everything internally, which messes with my sleep schedule, which again compounded upon all the stress and anxiety from before. It's just a recipe for disaster. So thankfully the majority of all that, you know, in here, is uh, is done for the time being. 
uh, and I've been working on making a lot of big changes in my life. Um, most notably my sleep schedule. Um, that's been a major uh, change for me and a change for the better I think. Um, especially with winter months having a lot less sunlight during the day I thought it would just make more sense to wake up earlier so that way you would have more sunlight and just feel more productive and that's just what I've been feeling lately so I'm not by nature a morning person I despise waking up in the mornings but if it's for my own health mental physical whatever you know I've kind of gotten to that point where it's just it's too painful to sleep in as opposed to just wake up earlier so I just I find myself to be a lot more productive my moods a lot better and uh, I want to continue going down this path. Same with the diet too, man. I don't know if you guys noticed, since getting out of the Navy, I've kind of put on a little bit of weight. So, <laughs> but with nice camera angles and good shadowing, I don't know if you guys can tell. Shut up, shut up. Don't say that in the comments. But any event, guys, uh, it's no secret, I've gained a lot of weight since coming back to America from Japan. And I'm not gonna make any excuses for it. I put the shit in my mouth, literally. So it is what it is, but what I can do is uh, work towards eating better. You know, not just to lose the weight and I'm not like starting my own like weight loss series and claiming to have all the secrets and all that kind of stuff, because I don't. Um, I'm doing this not really to lose weight again, to be cosmetically appealing, but also it's mostly just for my mental health at this point. That all, all these changes, that I'm making, diet, waking up early, all this stuff is for my mental health. And you know, if my physical health is improved along the way, hey, I'm not gonna complain about that, but uh, we gotta take this one step at a time, guys. And I'm gonna be making some changes to my diets, and I don't want any diet advice. You know, I love you guys, but uh, there's like a whole cavalcade of diet advice online, so I don't wanna get barraged with more information, so I appreciate the help, but I'm not gonna be taking any advice from you guys. So, and I say that out of love, so. In any event, I'm gonna be making those changes to help improve my mental clarity, my mood, keep my blood sugar at an even keel, which is kind of the key to this whole thing. And uh, we're just gonna go on from there, man. And uh, so far, just, just with waking up early and Having a good breakfast, I've been feeling a lot better, you know? Uh, I just feel, I feel more productive, you know? I feel like I'm getting more stuff done, you know? Whereas it used to be I'd spend the wee hours of the night working on stuff for Sam or for myself. Instead of the wee hours, you know, spent working on that stuff, I'm spending it in the mornings. And I just feel like I get more stuff done. Not just with this stuff, but also just stuff around the house, you know? taking care of laundry and groceries and other fun, boring adult stuff. You know, get that all taken care of. But anyway, guys, I think I've rambled and raved long enough in this video. So with that said, this is the Andy Sign. Sign for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. Oh,